Senator, you've said you want to do everything in your power to ensure that Donald Trump does not become president. According to a new Bloomberg poll, barely half of your supporters, 55%, plan to vote for Hillary Clinton. 22% say they'll vote for Donald Trump. Another 18% favor libertarian candidate Gary Johnson. Do you think Hillary Clinton can win if almost half of your supporters do not plan on voting for her? You know, we got a long, long way to go uh, to uh, election day. Uh, and the world changes, as you know, uh, every week. Uh, what I think uh, is that if Cl Hillary Clinton, and this is what we are trying to do right now, we are trying to say to, Sen to uh, Secretary Clinton and to the Clinton campaign, make it clear which side you are on. For example, one of the areas that I think resonated very strongly across this country is the understanding that today in 2016, we need to make public education include free tuition at public colleges and universities. Truth is, Secretary Clinton has some good ideas about higher education. Doesn't go far enough. In terms of health care, it is not good enough to say that 90% of our people have health insurance now because many of those insurance policies are really quite inadequate. We need to be much more aggressive. The Affordable Care Act has done good things. We need to go further than that. Mm -hmm. So I think right now what we are doing is trying to say to the Clinton campaign, stand up, be bolder than you have been, and then many of those voters, in fact, may come on board. Listen to what you said on Friday when you were asked if you will vote for Hillary Clinton in November. Are you going to vote for Hillary Clinton in November? Yes. When the day comes in November and Sanders has to cast his vote, to whom does it go? In all likelihood, it will go to Hillary Clinton. In all likelihood, it will go to Hillary Clinton. Now, I know you told Chris Cuomo when he pressed that you don't want to get into semantics, but when your supporters hear you say that in all likelihood your vote will go to Hillary Clinton, do you think they come away thinking that maybe you'll run as a third-party candidate, maybe it's not that important to you whether or not she wins? I mean, there's a hesitation there. Well, look... Jake, I think media focuses on politics as a game. What we are talking about and what this whole campaign is about is transforming the United States, dealing with the issues that led to Brexit, understanding why the middle class continues to decline and the top one-tenth of one percent now owns as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent, making sure that we address the fact that 47 million people live in poverty and the kids can't afford to go to college. That is what this campaign is about. And what we are doing right now, by the way, is by the many, many thousands, engaging people, working people, young people to get involved in the political process and to run for office. We're trying to build a strong, progressive political movement which takes on big money interests and which over a period of time, in fact, creates a government that works for all of us and well, not just the one percent that is my focus right now defeating donald trump is clearly my other focus with all due respect senator I, i'm not viewing this as a game I, i'm i'm looking at the fact that i talk to your supporters all the time and many of them do not want to vote for hillary clinton uh they mm -hmm. feel very negatively towards her and if it is important to you as you say it is to defeat donald trump I wonder if you're truly doing everything you can do to defeat Donald Trump. Oh. I am going to do everything that I can to do uh, to defeat Donald Trump. But a lot of that responsibility about winning the American people over to her side is going to rest with Secretary Clinton. Is she going to address the issues that many, we got something like 12, 13 million votes. And those people voted for me, I believe, because they said it is time to have a president prepared to have the guts to stand up to big money interests, to stand up to the greed of corporate America, to end these disastrous trade policies, to make certain that the wealthiest people and largest corporations start paying their fair share of taxes, to rebuild our infrastructure, to create health care to all people. So it's not just Bernie Sanders saying, oh, you know, yeah, just vote for Hillary Clinton. It is Hillary Clinton standing up and saying, you know what, these are the things we need to do. And if she does the right thing, I am absolutely confident that the vast majority of my supporters will vote for. And that is the process we are engaged in right now. We're working on the Democratic platform. We are talking to the Clinton campaign. And I hope very much that Secretary Clinton understands that not only is it good public policy, it is the right thing to do. It is good politics be to begin to move in that direction.